All right, so. So we just missed the fish, Rick. Yeah, first, first drop. in the morning. Yeah. So good morning, everyone. We're fishing in uh, West Vancouver this morning. We're fishing for what are you fishing for? Coho salmon. Coho salmon. So this is Rick Clark. Um, it's uh, Gibbs Delta Tackle Pro Staff, and we're lucky enough to come out and fish with him today. He's gonna show us how to troll for coho salmon. You bet. And uh, we're fishing with uh, flashes and bait and yeah, chovy, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy dragged me out of bed at three o'clock in the morning to be out here at first light and. We're still, we're still kind of asleep, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's why we missed that first fish. So hopefully we'll drop it down again and we'll get another one. You bet. Yeah. So how big are these fish? Uh, five, six pounds. Yeah. Nine pounds would be a real big fish. Yeah. And uh, there are some of them around, so. Hmm. Yeah. I'm fishing pretty shallow water too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right yeah. now, we're in about 40 feet of water. And we have the uh, downrigger set at 28 feet. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, we'll let you get going and you got get us another one. Well, that was quick. Yeah. Fish, fish, fish! Hit him hard, hit him hard, hit him hard, hit him hard! Okay, so now the trick is you gotta net this fish. Okay, reason behind you, Jay, is the throttle. This is not the first one, the second one. Yep. Just ease off on it ever so delicately. Are you ready, Rock? Yep. Oh, where are you? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Give us some throttle. Show. Give us some throttle now. Let's make sure you use the hatchery. It's a hatch. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I think next time what we'll do. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Go ahead, push on it. There you go. There you go. A beautiful West Vancouver. Hatchery coho salmon. How big do you think that fish is? That must be around five, six pounds. Six pounds, five, six yeah. pounds. So the, that's our third chance. Yeah. Yeah. Jake had the first chance and missed it. <laughs> I had the second chance. I missed it. Then we got the expert here. Yeah. Rick landing it's, the fish. It's all about the hook set, I guess. That's right. Yeah. There you really go. Important to get that hook in there. Beautiful. Well, let's put him in the box and get the gear down. Okay, let's do this. Come on, Jake. 
I'll just keep going. You might as well land it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we gotta net him. Yeah. That's all good. Whoa! <laughs> nice rod. <laughs> Give us a little throttle, Jake. Just a, just a hair. Anytime you guys want to come out and watch me fish, you guys are welcome to come out and watch me fish anytime. Wow. Well, that's a nice one. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Nice one. Fish, 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 fish. Run, 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 go, go. There you go. Got him? Yeah. Hatch. Yep. There you go. Automatically pop up. All right. Just throw that off the side. All right. Nice work. That was a good morning, Rick. Not too bad yeah, for a couple hours. Yeah. Thanks for dragging me out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I was kind of hesitant because 3 o'clock in the morning, it was way too early. Yeah. And uh, But we were out here at the boat launch at 4.30, um, you know, just before the, just before light. And you, you said that the fishing was going to be good in the first couple hours after sunrise, and yeah. which was which was not bad. We, we got into quite a few fish. Yeah. We had quite a few chances. I missed one. My friend Jake missed one. And then we say, well, Rick, you got to take over and hook all the fish for us. So he got into two fish, two very, very nice fish. Nice actually. fish yeah. Very nice yeah. cold salmon really nice. for this time of year. Yeah. And uh, then Jay came back and got another one at the end. And I didn't have any more chances, which is fine. Yeah. I, I'm just happy to see fish to yeah. be caught. And uh, But uh, just so let's talk a little bit about this fishery, the cold fishery. Um, right outside of downtown Vancouver, if you, right behind us, it's actually downtown Vancouver. So we, we literally within 10 minute drive to the fishing area. And uh, it it's happens between what, May? Starting what, May, June until August, September? Yeah, right? I mean, if you're looking for coho, it, it, the, the coho season kind of starts off, you know, mid July uh, to late July. It depends on when the when the fish show up. Yeah. But uh, you can fish for salmon anytime in yeah. Vancouver Harbor, yeah. for sure. For so sure. a lot of, I mean, a lot of this fishing, it depends on the rivers, right? I mean, yep. most of these fish are heading up to the Capital River, That's Seymour correct. River. So if the river is too high, they will go straight up the river. But typically in the summertime, the river is quite dry. So these fish will hold out here and yep. they'll, they'll feed. And that's what we're doing today. So yep. we're trolling around, you know, finding fish on the sounder and looking for fish uh, jumping around, right? So yep. you're asking me to look for fish Keep jumping an eye around. Out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's, uh, that's what we're looking for. And we got, we didn't get into really dense school of fish, but we no. did get into one fish here, one fish there, yep. which is great. And the biggest fish today was what, six, seven? Six pounds six, maybe, a big six pounds, so maybe pretty, seven. Pretty good for this time. Yeah, yeah. really nice coal yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about a little bit about what we're using today. Yeah. I brought out this, my toys today. Yeah, got that the, was I, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Eh? Yeah. So the Islander MR3 uh, mooching reel. So this is, a lot of people have asked, you know, is that a fly reel? That's not, this is not a fly fishing reel. This is the mooching reel designed to fish on the west coast. Yeah, um, for in salmon. BC, for right, sure. for, sam uh, for salmon, so we'll for fishing for salmon. So it's a single action reel, uh, which means that it's a one-to-one -one, uh, gear ratio. And the reason we use that is, <laughs> uh, I guess, challenges. And yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's uh, a true battle between you and the fish. Yeah, and it's know? fun. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, it can be pretty tiring if you get a really big fish and yeah. it's coming right towards you. You got to reel really, really, really fast, right? Yeah. So this rod here, Shimano Convergence, rated 12 to 20 pound. 
I was a little uh, skeptical about this road when I bought it. Um, I thought maybe it might be too light, but you say it was quite I really like the light yeah. rods fishing for salmon. I mean, I'm a huge fan. Yeah. A lot of guys use stout rods. I just think a nice light rod, you yeah. really enjoy the fight. Yeah, this one is really noodly and um, it's, it's perfect for cold salmon. Yeah. But would you say this would be good for Chinooks as well? Can I you? would use that rod for Chinook. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, even though it's rated, you know, up to 20 pounds, you can catch bigger fish yeah. than that because yeah. you're on the boat, you can you can adjust where, you, where your boat is going to try to chase the fish and things like that. Yeah. And, and the fight might be a little longer, right? But yeah. you can definitely bring the fish. In. For sure. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice road. I was, I'm pretty happy with this. We've yeah. got two of them going today. Well, it was a treat for me, man. I yeah, both, yeah, and both of them have bites. And uh, the, and the bites, well, one thing I noticed was the bites was quite sensitive. Yeah. You know, you can, the rod is quite sensitive, so the bites was quite apparent on the on the rod tip, you know, that you can really see it, yeah. you know, compared to some of the heavy rods, it's more of a tap, 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 yeah. right? So this is pretty nice. So, you know, on the, on the main line down, we, we have a, the clip, yep. and then on the clip, you attach the flasher. Yep, the onto flasher. It, right? yep, so what sure. kind of flashers do we use? Well, today we started with uh, two flashers, and these are very popular flashers for fish in this area. Yeah. Um, this is the uh, Gibbs Delta Tackle STS and it's got moon jelly on the front and glow on the back yeah. and green blade. Mm -hmm. And my favorite teaser to match up with it is just a basic green glow Reese Davis head. Right. And uh, we fished anchovy with that. And we started actually by uh, brining up your anchovies. Right, so this is the brine that we use. Yeah which is the uh, Powski Fly Brine. Yeah. What's the point of brining uh, the bait with this? Well, when you're fishing anchovies um, and you're letting them sit out over the, the day without any treatment, they get really soft. Right. And you want to be able to bend your anchovy so that you can control the type of roll that okay. it has. Yeah. So this really stiffens the bait up. Oh yeah, yeah. And I think there's also some secret scents in there that add, yeah. that add some scent to the and bait you, as well. you like to use the clear one. Yeah, I like and, to use the clear. But they also come in different colors. Oh, for sure. Well, green, blue, uh, blue and shots and things like that. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I noticed how when you, you brined this very briefly today, and uh, when when the bait came out, it was it was stiff. Super and stiff. You can you can really manipulate the shape of it and and try to work with it, right? I was going to ask how how long is that leader that you use between um, the flasher and the teaser head? That's a great question, and, and uh, you know I've never measured it, but yeah. all my well, rough, roughly around is an arm span. Yeah. So I don't know. Five and a half feet. Five and a half feet. Yeah. You know, do, you, do you even six feet? do you ever adjust that length based on the no, season? No. You know, I never long. have with anchovies. I know yeah. some guys do, but I always keep my leader exactly the same length and and have good success. Yeah, good. good. But we also started today with the uh, the bonchovi flasher yeah. and uh, the chartreuse uh, Reese Davis splatter back head. We didn't have any luck on that one mm -hmm. today, but. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to have some different options yeah. in the boat so that when you you find one's hot, you know, what did we hit two off yeah, of this? Yeah, I think, I think it's three actually on yeah. that one. And, and then, then we, we started getting more on that yeah, one. Yeah so. so, yeah. so in case you're wondering, so Gibbs Dollar Tackle is a, it's a company based in British Columbia. They make all kinds of uh, terminal fishing products. So these flashes, the names actually come from the pro staff of the company yeah. uh, who developed them. So Bon Jovi Fishing Chart is based in Vancouver. STS Guiding Service um, is based in Fraser Valley, but those, they also guide saltwater fishing trips out of Vancouver as well. And so over the years, they, based on their fishing experience, catching lots of fish, yeah. they developed the, these patterns. Uh, so they definitely work. And Rick has proven that today. We well, and not only that, we passed the Bon Jovi boat today. Yeah. They hooked a fish. And they got into and fish. And it was, uh, yeah. I, I even said to Rodney, I said, hey, look, they're fishing yeah. the Bon Jovi flasher. And actually, we got into a fish right after we passed him when, when they had that fish on too. Yeah, right? exactly. That? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. That, was, that was pretty pretty interesting to yeah. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty good. We got three fish in the boat today. and uh, it's, Well, we got it's, four. We, we did oh, release right. so yeah, that wild that, fish. That, that one last one. Yeah. I remember you were just picking up the, the rod to check the bait, yeah. but I I was pretty sure I saw a bite right before you picked it up. I was like I was gonna say is that a bite? Yeah. And uh, you picked it up, and, and sure you know, enough, it was a fish at the end. That's the second time this year I did that. Oh yeah. But the first time was on about a 15 pound spring, which was nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. All well, right. I'm gonna go home and get some more sleep because I had three hours last night and uh, getting a little dizzy now with the boat rocking around. Yeah. Sun shining. It's been perfect. Perfect summer morning, and uh, many thanks to uh, 
Rick, for taking us out. And uh, hopefully we'll come back out again and try it again later on in the season. Yeah. We're going to try, hopefully try out some other techniques as well, right? Yeah. yeah. And it, check out, you have a YouTube channel yep. as well, right? Yep. So you should, yeah, people should check it out and we'll put the link at the end. Sure. It's uh, Born, to, Born fish, to Fish. Born to Fish BC. Yeah. Right? If you type in any Google search, type in Born to Fish BC, my yeah. material will come up. For right. Sure. And it's mostly salt water fishing stuff. Yeah. Most of my content is uh, fresh water fishing. But if you want salt water fishing information in British Columbia, British Columbia, definitely check out um, his uh, channel, but also the Facebook page is always sure. updates yeah. on fishing reports and things like that. Yeah. So get out fishing and uh, until next time, good luck fishing.